A question we get here all the time is how do I add an overlay to my ATEM switcher? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a very easy way to do this. But before we begin, if you don't have a switcher or a device that can do this, BoxCast has a graphic overlays feature and all you have to do is upload an image and apply it in real time to your live stream. If you want to learn more about this feature, watch our graphic overlays video with the link in the description. So in this demo, we'll be using a Blackmagic Design ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, but these steps will work with all ATEM models with the software we're showing you today. Once everything is powered on, hook your ATEM switcher up to your computer and connect it to the ATEM software control. Next, take the graphic that you'd like to overlay and drag it into Media Player 1. To apply this to your live stream, it's just like how you would switch cameras. Click MP1 in preview and then cut or fade to the image. Now let's say you want to do something a little more advanced like add a lower third to your live stream. First you want to make sure your lower third is a .png and has a transparent background. Also you want to make sure you're creating a graphic with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You will not be able to position your lower third once you've uploaded it to the ATEM software. Now it's time to drag it into your media player. I'm going to put mine in MP2. Let's go back to our switcher settings and go to palettes. Click on downstream keys and scroll down. You will want to select your fill source as Media Player 2 and your key source as Media Player 2 key. Once you do that, you will now select DSK1 on your software and your lower third will appear in the program feed. If it doesn't look exactly right, you will want to unselect the pre-multiply key and change the clip and gain settings until it looks just right. If you want to preview it before it goes live, simply just select the tie button to ensure it's in the right spot. And that's it. This is just one of many ways to add an overlay to your live stream, but if you have any additional questions about how to add graphics to your live stream, comment down below. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.